Hey guys, what's up? Yes, be here for another Stardust tutorial. And I was experimenting a little bit with the motion node. Let's create some some techy background using the motion node. What this node does, uh, it uh, it adds some extra movement to the particle. So uh, the particle has like its own speed, and you can set up to to have some extra motion, some additional motion. So uh, the first option here, it's the light path. Uh, we are going to explore the others in other tutorials. So let's try the light path. So uh, we can create a light path. Maybe we can create just a point. And if we just set up, I will put the first keyframe here and maybe we can add some extra motion and also we can set up this like a bezier so uh, you have way more control if you, if you need to for the for the path of the particles so let's try to something like this uh, well uh, and also we can uh, copy and paste some paths, so we can just go here and create a shape layer and we can select the path here and just double click and you can convert to Bezier path and you can just copy and paste the path here. Let's hide this so you can set up many many things and you have uh, great possibilities with this node uh, and also let's check out some uh, properties here uh, we just can uh, we can just randomize the, the speed random and also the delay and also we can uh, set the motion over life so uh, the particles are going to follow the the light path, and after some some time, uh, you can just spread out the particles. Uh, and one good uh, possibility is to create some paths in Illustrator, and you can also just copy and paste. So uh, for this example, let's try this kind of path. So you can just Ctrl C or Command C and let's set up at the position. And now the particles are following the exactly the path. And maybe we can just set up the speed to zero. So now you can, can see exactly the path. Uh, maybe to get something uh, more interesting, uh, we can just set the the particles not just to point but to a grid system. So there's a lot of particles. Maybe we can just set up the size here. Uh, and also we can uh, set the emit emitting to randomize so uh, it just grows up in a random position here. Uh, maybe if, if we could just set up some auxiliary, maybe we can just decrease particles uh, and maybe we could uh, create like some lines so let's put the auxiliary here and also let's duplicate just command D or 
control D and you have uh, many particles emitting from the particles maybe you can just set the accelerity to zero and you can create like the corners uh, from the replica node but you can set up in a different way here so uh, maybe we can just uh, just get some different uh, properties here maybe to get uh, I don't know a uh, cool look here Uh, and also you can set up maybe some camera movement for this kind of particles. Let's maybe set up like this, like a, some neon signs. Maybe we can just do some tinkering. The particle here. Let's set up maybe three. Uh, and you also can increase the particles per second here to get like a, a more line look. Uh, and after that, we can also set up some post production work or maybe some effects like, anyway glow or maybe noise and add some background. Uh, I will uh, do some tinkering here. Uh, so that's, it's just a, a quick tip for you to use the motion node. I worked a little bit more on this example and that's the result you can achieve just putting more effort to your work. But that's the result, hope you like it and if you do something cool, just let me know, put in the comments. That's it, hope you like it, see you next time.